And I'm Riley, and welcome back to Big Shaggies. On today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go through what to look for when you're buying your first slingshot. What is its purpose, different bands, maybe some ammunition sizes, and we'll go from there. So, Riley, I know nothing about slingshots whatsoever, so explain to me from one end to the other exactly what's going on. So, up first, we have the GZK G-Shot Slingshot, and this one is just classified as a speed shooter because of its tubes and pouch size. It's actually metal. The whole thing's metal, and it's just wrapped with leather. And this is, this isn't a speed shooter, but I have it set up as a speed shooter. This is a Sparrow Slingshot made by Simple Shot. And this one is just a through the fork, over the top natural fork slingshot, which is pretty cool. And this one is, I have it set up as through the forks, the Axiom Ocularis slingshot, yeah. which is a good one. And this is another G shot from GZK, but this one I have set up as a just a more accurate, probably for hunting. And these two are very good for pocket size, stick in your pocket, everyday carry. This is the Pocket Shot and the Pocket Shot Junior. And this one is another good one made by Grim Workshop. This is their Grim Workshop Slingshot card. And this is one that'll fit in your wallet. So let's start with this one. This one right here. Can you tell me a little bit more about this one? I mean, the GZK, obviously. But this one has the tubes and the flat bands mm -hmm. that you can use. So... What, what, what price range, things like that? Now, the price range for this one is $30 if you order it off of FowlersMakerMischiefs.com, which you can order it off there, or you can order it off of GZK's website itself, which is just a little bit cheaper, but you have to pay more shipping. And when you look at it, it is going to come with a sack of small BBs, and that's what you use to attach your tubes, and it does not come with an option to change it to bands. You have to buy your brand separately. It comes with the tubes, and you can get this in green or red like this. So I really like this one, uh, as a matter of fact, a lot. I like the size, I like the weight, because this one, all these others are polymer or wood, and this is actually metal. This is actually pretty good, solid metal. And up next, we have the Simple Shot Sparrow Slingshot, and this, when you order this, it'll be $20 plus shipping. And when you order it, it's gonna come with a flat band set, and band ties, so you, you pretty much all comes with what you need, so, and instructions of how to use it. The price range for this one is about 20 bucks plus shipping, and it's actually a plastic. It's it's poured into a mold, and pretty solid. I, this is actually my first slingshot I've ever had. It's got some damage onto it, some frame hits, but it's holding up very nicely. I have it set up as a speed shooter now, and I really like this one. Yeah, I do too. And as a beginner, like you said, it does come with everything you need. Everything you need. So bands, ties, everything to get started with. I like that. And this one is, you cannot buy this one. This one is one I made, but the homemade ones are also very good because you just buy some bands and band ties and you cut off whatever you need. You can stain it, you can burn it, you can make it whatever size you need. Those are really cool. Yeah, and this particular one is actually my personal one that he made me for Christmas. The This one is extremely accurate. The only thing with this one is it likes the heavier ammo. Uh, 7 sixteenths, 3 eighths, it shoots outstanding regular full-size marbles, but as far as like the little bitty tiny stuff, the quarter Four inches, inch. yeah, it doesn't shoot well at all. Now, this one is an, also a very good beginner one because of its versatility you can there's nothing that you need for this you just it comes with these little uh, stoppers and you stick them in and you can set this up as through the forks or over the top so whichever you choose which is also another good beginner one and it's the big frame and stick gap makes it easy where you won't get very many frame hits like they're about the same side but the bigger gap is very good and this one is the Axiom Ocularis. The price range for this one is $26 to $30 plus shipping. You can get this in a variety of colors. I just have this one set up as black. Yeah, and Simple Shot also has several different kinds. This is kind of, I think, their workhorse. 
that is their baseline do all. They have one that looks something similar to this and all of theirs have the basic, the, the stoppers to where you can swap bands. Simple Shot is a very good company. And this one is the same one as this one, but I have this one set up as like you know, I have this one set up over the top with flat bands for more accuracy and this one is not a speed shooter this one is be more of an uh it can go a little bit more longer range these are very speed shooters are very accurate but they're short range slingshots and this one would be you could actually hunt with this one so it's as accurate it's as accurate as these or your sparrow except it's just smaller it's just smaller and a little bit heavier than this one like i said you can get it in two colors wrap black and green or like this one red and the price range for this one is thirty dollars and these two are awesome for beginners too this is the pocket shot and the pocket shot junior and this one is like there's no you shoot it from the hip or aim normally and you it's not you don't have to have as much technique to shoot these as you would for those it is a little bit harder to get accurate with them but you could very easily. And also they do make attachments. They make tons of different, they make a hammer attachment, which where you would, I don't have it, but where you can grab it and it'd be just like a normal slingshot. They make arrow attachments and just heavier bands, which are really good. These are, you do not shoot rocks out of these. They don't recommend to shoot rocks out of any of them, but this one definitely, because you would puncture the pouch. This one already has, this one, we've had it for a while, and this one has, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but this one has some oh, grip yeah. to it. And this, this Pocket Shot Junior is cool, is good too. This one is a smaller one, but the cool thing about this one is if you're a bigger guy or girl and you like the grip on the smaller one better than the bigger one, you can switch out the big bands for the smaller slingshot, which is good too. And does the big one also come with a cap? Is it just The big missing? one came, comes with a cap, it's okay. just missing. It's just and fair. they okay. fold up, and then it's very pocket-sized, like that. So definitely would fall into your, if you're into carrying slingshots every day, EDC, that kind of thing, because you can literally drop it in the front pocket. So. And you can hold up to like six or seven rounds, fold it up, and when you're capped, and it won't rattle very much because it suctions to it. And pretty much, too, once you drop it down in there with the cap on there, you mm -hmm. pull it out. If you've got one you or two, can, you're ready to go. Pretty much. You can even shoot it. Again, not recommended, but you can shoot it like a shotgun with a, like, max three to four, but you can if you're just doing it. in this one is another good one. This one is definitely not a beginner one, but it is a Grim Survival card, and they make awesome stuff. But when you get this one, the price range is twenty dollars. This one, and it comes in with a piece of six fifty paracord, which is what holds it through through the forks, and then these double looped tubes. They're pretty strong, so this is a hunt. You can hunt with this one. It's and it's made in Texas, and you can hunt with this one, like I said. But it would be harder to get more accurate with these recommended would be something like a smaller single loop tubes or you can even put flat bands on it the only complaint i have to this one is for my wallet at least this might be not a problem for you or any of y'all but you can on my wallet you cannot stick the bands in it but you can stick everything but the bands which is the only complaint i have and it's made out of metal as well it's made out of metal it does not look sturdy but like being bending it it's not moving at all but it's not recommended for beginners. Not it's small fork gap. If you look at it compared to any of them, it would be hard. And the way you have to put your fingers, it would be very easily hurt yourself shooting it. So if you had to choose one to take with you every day, shoot it from speed shooting to hunting, maybe um, dropping it in your back pocket or cargo pant pocket every day, which one would it be? Probably it'd be a toss-up for me between this one, which is the Sparrow, and this one, which is the Action Ocularis. But for beginners, I would recommend this one. And this is just my opinion, but this is a very good beginner one just because of, like I said, the versatility. You can use flat bands, which either position. You can put tubes and make it a speed shooter. You can even put loop tubes. Basically, whatever you have, you can use for this one. And again, big fork gap, easy to shoot. And 
you don't have to worry about band ties. You can buy extra ones of these from Fowler's Maker Mischief and Simple Shot, which is very good because these are easy to lose and it comes with instructions on how to install them. Yeah, and I do believe my pick too would also be this one just for that same reason. As somebody who's not a big slingshot shooter, then I can, I don't have to learn because all of these other ones, like this one's probably the best. If you can see on here, it's got banding material. So now I have to have banding material as well as bands. I've got to be able to tie it correctly, all this kind of stuff. Where with this one, when you pull the little stopper out and slide it in, I mean, you're ready to go. And you can change bands out as long as it takes you to pull the two stoppers out and slide it to something else. If you want to go with heavier bands, whatever. So I, I do believe this one will be my pick as well. All right, so I guess now what we'll do is we are going to go shoot them. So we're going to try them all out, see which ones we uh, like, want to shoot, get y'all some video, and we'll go from there. Right, guys, see y'all. We're outside now, and before we get to shooting and testing and comparing, I'm going to teach you how to grip. This is the standard grip for pretty much anything, and this is how you're going to get pretty accurate. So first things first, you want to either, two things you got to know, what kind of slingshot it is. If it's a hammer grip, you're going to grip it like this or something more along the lines of what I've got. You're going to thumb brace it and do like that. But you have to be careful with that because you could hurt yourself. Okay. So the first things first, when you grab the ammo, you don't want to grab it like that or because it'll mess up your shot. So the, when you grab your ammo, we're going to be using two different types of ammo. We got some three eighths and we got some quarter inch so when you put it in and most time most of the time when you have it I'm not sure you might not be able to see it but you have a little hole and that is the exact center of the piece of leather your pouch so for this one it's through the fork so you loop it and for beginners you want to do a reverse grip and you're gonna be when you do it you're gonna be not using your knuckle, you're gonna be using the flat part of your finger right there, the second joint, and you're gonna grip it like so. And you don't wanna grip in front of it because when you grip in front of it, it'll come off and roll and be very inaccurate, which is okay for beginners, but once you get, once you get a little bit more advanced and trying out different stuff, that's how you get frame hits when it rolls off and hits something on your slingshot so you grab it on the pouch like this and when you pull back if any of y'all are archers bow shooters I'm gonna use the other one. if any of y'all are archers or bow shooter shooters you this is gonna be easy so you're gonna get your stance the shoulder your feet shoulders width apart and then you grab it just like I said and you don't want to twist your hip because that could mess up your shot so you just move your head you put your anchor point wherever that is for you and then let go like that and that's how you're supposed to shoot and now we're going to test it first we're going to try testing our gzk with the flat bands we're going to be shooting for that balloon this is exactly the tip of this table is exactly 10 feet and that's the optimal 10 to 15 is the optimal shooting distance 20 feet is probably your max distance People shoot like at 60 feet all the time, but normal people, max is about 20 feet. But, okay, for this first shot, we are gonna be shooting the, the 3 8 but we also, for the shooting out of the air, we have some quarter inch, which are smaller, and some slingshots like them, but some like this one, the pouch doesn't, it does not like shooting them. But I figured out that the quarter inch works better for shooting stuff out of the air just because they're smaller and faster. But to be, if you're wanting to get some for starters, the 3 eighths are the best you can buy off Amazon. A thousand of them for 20 bucks, which is what we did. And they're very good. So we're gonna get and shoot that balloon. And this one, like I said, is way, has way more distance than even this one, which is the same shot, it's all in the tubes. So this is the speed shooter version. We're gonna get that last. We'll do the speed shooters and the tubes last. The next one we are gonna do is we're gonna try off the natural fork slingshot. 
and this one does not this is the one that does not like the smaller ones and the bigger ones are more accurate too so we're gonna shoot for the can hit a little low but this one again is kind of a co hard comparison to all the other ones because this is natural fork slingshots are totally custom each one of them is different this one is bigger than most of my other ones because it's for my brother but you cut it to however you want but this one all you have to buy is the bands and you can cut it like I said custom whatever you want size you can burn it like I said in the size. And up next, we have the Acum Oxidaris from Simple Shot. And I have this set up right now as over the top. We're going to be shooting some 3 8 ball bearings out of it, which are the ones I recommend for beginners shooting. And we're going to be shooting at that balloon right there. Like this one, I started out shooting over the top, so that's my preference. But. It's all up to you. It's probably, I'm so, I can shoot good over the top probably because I started out as it, but you shoot and you decide what you want. Now, up, I think we're gonna start with our speed shooters now. Next, we're gonna start getting into our speed shooters and air shooters. Now, I'm not very good at speed shooting, but I can hit pretty good in the air. So, like I said, when we were starting off shooting, when you go to air shoot, it's the same basic principle of you're holding it but it's not so much aiming when you shoot in the air as it is kind of instinctive shooting. So we're gonna get right into it. We have a balloon with a little bit of water in it for some weight so you can see it hit. This one is the same as the GZK with the bands, but I have, but this is the one I have set up as the speed shooter. Up next, we have the G we have the Simple Shot Sparrow Slingshot, and this one is not classified as a speed shooter, but I have it set up with the tubes for speed shooting. And we're going to be shooting another balloon out of the air with the same quarter inch ammo. one is also good like I said once I get better at speed shooting like shooting very fast and reloading I'll put out another video but and last but not least we have the Grim Workshops Grim card and this is not a speed shooter I just put it under that class because it has the tubes for speed shooting but when you look this up it's not classified as just a slingshot it's a slingshot slash sling bow which means you can shoot arrows out of it now, I'm not going to shoot arrows out today, but I'm going to do a full review later doing everything it says it can do. But for today, we're just going to be shooting like we were a while ago at a balloon. One last point I would like to talk about before we quit in, in the video is the ammo sizes. You can see this is the 3 8 and this is the quarter inch. There's a big difference between these. Like I've said multiple times, this is the one I would recommend. You can get it by thousands rounds for 20 bucks on Amazon. And that's the one I recommend. But again, this is the Simple Shot Axiom Ocularis. You can buy it from Simple Shot their Amazon store or you can go to the simpleshot.com you can order it off fowlersmakerandmischief.com or his Amazon store for 20 bucks plus shipping and a variety of colors but I think that's about going to be all remember to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time like and subscribe